on Max um, and I do Pockle. I've been doing it for about just touching on three years now. I signed up to a, a gymnastics gym uh, to start practicing it there, and that's where I met Charlie. I got into parkour through watching Jackie Chan films. Uh, I didn't even know it was called parkour until later, but I just copied his moves and called it Jackie Chan Techniques, and that was it. It originated in France, uh, in a place called Lys, in Paris, suburbs of Paris. And um, there are two guys, uh, David Bell and Sebastien Foucault, French guys. Uh, they were together through school, and they would practice after school. They, uh, I suppose it hadn't really been done before. It was a cheaper sport to get into. You don't need any equipment, so it just uh, evolved naturally in an environment full of obstacles. And they became very good at it, and, um, and eventually the media had some interest in it and took off from there. Sort of jumping around on walls and buildings and stuff, you know. When, when you get into it, you get more in detail, like you learn what the moves are called. Uh, there's, you know, obviously different moves uh, that have been given names. Last year, I broke my collarbone, um, which sort of put me back a lot, but. Um, you know, at the time I had very bad shins uh, and it allowed them to recover. So in turn, it sort of, you know, gave me a bit of a boost, really. In London, everything's over there and then you've got a couple of miles down there, there's something else. Whereas in Guildford, it's great because everything's sort of in one place. If you've got big walls with spaces, that's great to run up, run up to the walls. Uh, if you, again, two walls together, you can jump off each other's walls, uh, sort of like steps, bars, like open areas with a lot of, a lot of like, things to jump around them. What I love most about it is its application to, uh, to real life. Um, my interest lies in the military, alongside running and, uh, and other skills. Uh, tackling obstacles is very fundamental. Well, in the future, I, I'd sort of want to become a stuntman. So uh, it gives me sort of a head start on that. We're not really ruining anything. We're not, you know, vandalizing, you know, spray painting or anything like that. We're just generally doing it as a sport. And I think a lot of people have come to learn that. It's more uh, an issue with um, being moved on from an area which could be deemed as, as private, you know, if we're possibly seen as trespassing. Uh, people have no, no inherent problem with parkour, but if you, if you take it to a level where it, it invades, you know, it, it starts to invade property and upset people in that way, then yeah, they'll move you on. But police, they, they have respect for it, they'll, uh, they'll have a good laugh about it with you. If an area is enclosed, and that helps a lot because you can't do parkour if it's wet, pretty much full stop. And um, obviously you want railings, hand railings, which are quite spaced apart, not too close. Parkour, it's all about being on the street. That's the, that's the nature of it. That's where it's natural. So um, that's the way to do it, really. It doesn't cost any money. It's just finding out who does it and meeting up with them. I'm going to be joining the military soon. And uh, no doubt I'll, you know, these skills will, will stay with me throughout, throughout my life. And I'll probably put them to use, probably put them to use out there. Um, I'll keep practicing, I'll just keep working on it, but I'll never take it to the extent where I'll give myself a life-ruining injury, you know.